recently, I watched No One Will Save You. This is a film that's available over on Hulu, and the premise is as follows. Bren finds solace within the walls of the home where she grew up until she's awakened one night by strange noises from unearthly intruders. The entire film is a horror alien film, and it has a very little dialogue, which really surprised me. A lot of times, little dialogue usually leads to kind of a boring film or a film that's just not very fleshed out. However, I am pleasantly surprised to say that this film did it very well. On top of that, the main actress is so good that she gets across every emotion and point without ever having to really say a single word. On top of that, we get some noises from like the aliens and whatnot. However, it sets up an atmosphere of just constantly not knowing what's going to come next and being able to have the tension of hearing the drop of a pen at any moment. The movie very quickly gets into the action and gets into like the aliens and everything else and it takes a while to slowly break down exactly what the story is trying to say to us about this girl that we're following as well as about this alien invasion. You know, she tries and she, uh, you know, goes around to see if other people can help her but she finds out that basically there is a full scale invasion taking place and it all goes down from there. On a non-spoiler side of things, there's really not much much to say because this is kind of a little bit of a story important. I would say that the main thing that this does is it sets up that atmospheric and other horror so that way you never know what's going to happen next, keeping you on the edge of your seat and keeping the movie from ever truly being boring. You don't really get much story other than the visual storytelling that happens towards the end for the most part. However, the story is interesting. I think that the story doesn't make sense at certain parts, which is a little, uh, it would be my one complaint overall about the movie. But otherwise the acting everything was phenomenal and on top of that I think that the CGI of these uh, aliens looked pretty good as well uh, so that's all I'm gonna say for non spoiler side of things I'm gonna say that this is a three out of four I think the movie could be considered a little gimmicky and a little bland at times and also at some points maybe doesn't fully make sense however I think overall it handles the subject material very well and it gets across the point in a unique way and it is just kind of a new spin on the overall genre so again if you guys want to go ahead and watch it I recommend recommend going and giving it a click or clicking off going and watching and then coming on back once you've seen it so we can just chat about it further all right so let's go ahead and get into it basically this girl we see that she is kind of by herself she's happy being by herself and people don't really treat her that warmly at least as far as we can tell seemingly the aliens come and invade and she is a fucking fighter she goes and she kills multiple of the aliens that try to take her out like i think five maybe six of the aliens ranging from super big aliens to smaller aliens and overall it's uh you know under Understandable why she did so because they were infecting all these humans with parasites that took them over uh, I didn't really understand fully why they would do that instead of just killing the humans rather than kind of going and taking over their culture and whatnot in their bodies like you'd think that they would just kill out all the humans and then take over the planet but that's seemingly not what they did. So, as the movie goes on, we basically just get this girl fighting for her survival, and we get the aliens taking over people, putting, you know, parasites into them. She can't find anybody, really, that doesn't have a parasite in them. And then, on top of that, they end up finally, after a while, catching her with their alien technology and placing a parasite within her. However, she fights hard to break out of this kind of, uh, you know, uh, trance that it put her in. It basically showed her what she wanted to see, which was a world where her sister was still alive. We don't really know much about the sister or anything like that until the parasite is removed and we see that the aliens are investigating this girl to see why she's such a fucking trooper and why she's seemingly one of the only people that was able to break the trance. This is because she, you know, seemingly didn't want the fake world that she was living in and she wanted to be, you know, actually within the world. So she essentially uh, then has her brain read by the aliens and it shows that when she was younger, she killed her sister. There was basically a moment where her sister pushes her down and she grabs a rock and then hits her sister over the head with it. It's seemingly kind of like a Cain and Abel type situation. And generally, I think what the, the, the movie is trying to kind of portray some level of uh, overall religious elements, you know, like these aliens are coming down and they're basically sending these people to heaven, aka this uh, vision that they have everything that they want in a world 
world that they want to live in and so then they're you know free from the the struggles of life and so maybe the aliens even see them doing that as a good thing however you know this person doesn't see the fantasy as a better option and so therefore they allow her to continue on and uh you know repent for what she did to her sister and allow her to you know kind of be a a uh a warrior i guess you could say she is to a certain extent but on top of that just somebody that they can kind of look to to see you know what a human is and what humans are like etc uh and because uh, obviously one of the things that they're going to want to do is kind of explore human culture and whatnot i guess i mean considering they seemingly are dancing and <laughs> various other shits like they've they've taken over the human bodies and uh, kind of just are continuing society in a certain way i think that's the part that makes the least sense to me is that fact that they are just like oh no we're gonna take over all of uh, uh, humanity and then we'll continue humanity for them uh and on top of that you'd think that because she killed like fucking five or six of the aliens that they wouldn't want her to continue living on that at the end of the day she might be too dangerous but they and on top of that i don't understand necessarily why they kind of seemingly take pity on her for having killed her sister maybe it's because she repented and it can feel that she felt so terrible for it but she grabbed a rock intentionally and bashed her sister over the head with it like you know what's gonna happen when you do that you know what i mean so i think that that's that's what confused me i don't really get why that caused her to take pity i kind of can only make sense of it when i'm trying to look at it through that kind of more biblical lens or something along those lines outside of that i can't really think much of else what the movie would be trying to say like uh seemingly at the very end the the girl is now living amongst the aliens and the aliens still like i said have taken over the bodies of pretty much every other human on earth we basically don't get even her saying anything at the end of the film she basically is dancing around and is shown to be greeted warmly by the aliens and this is in contrast to how you know uh, despondent people treated her in her own you know world when people were just normal people I think that that's an interesting idea too like something along the lines of somebody might feel more at home with an otherworldly species over their own like fellow human I think that feeling alone in a in a large crowd is kind of that same exact type of thing that maybe it's trying to get across and so now that she is in this world where you know they don't even talk to her they kind of just allow their emotions to flow through this is something that she feels to be more natural and just fits her life much better overall again the film is a three out of four it, 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 i think it does what it wants to do pretty well but there are just some confusing aspects all right, guys, besides that, uh, you know, what did you guys think? Did you see this movie? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Let me know in the comments down below. Besides that, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. That'll pop up during the outro, and the rest of our links are down in the description, too. We have gaming sessions for gaming content, movie and smoking sessions for movie content, Crazy Rocky for variety content, and the Tri Podcast for our podcast channel. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next one.